Hey, so we're ready to do our second open water test. Uh, we're right here at the north end of Marco Island Bridge, and we've got our uh, BK-11 Brooklyn kayak ready to go. Um, conditions, it's a little bit windy. Um, we've got, uh, do we, we do have flat water, but uh, we are on the uh, bay here, so we're probably going to be experiencing some boat wakes, a little bit more rough conditions. So we're going to see how the uh, Brooklyn Kayak PK-11 measures up to that. We have added some accessories. Uh, the, the biggest one, the one that I'm going to be looking at the most on this, per, uh, this particular trip is the uh, larger rudder that we got from Brooklyn Kayak. The, the one that came with the kayak was really small and uh, now we got the bigger one. So we're going to see how that responds in uh, slower conditions and we're also going to see how well it tracks. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, also try to catch some fish. Okay, so uh, one of the accessories I added before uh, we get out on the water is uh, my cell phone holder here. And I've also got a, a safety line that um, we're going to be trying here. So uh, these are available, but uh, we're trying these out for the first time to see how they, they work and we'll see how it goes. The way this works is, this is all this, goes right here. And then your phone goes right back in it. So now that's like a safety line. And then you put your phone on here and then you tighten it up. This is going to be hanging out kind of over the water. And you can see how this works here. The blade kind of keeps it up. So we're going to put the blade down. And then attach our play here. If you remember from a prior video, this doesn't seem to go on all the way. But uh, I did call uh, Brooklyn Kayak and they were very responsive. However, there really was no solution. It pretty much came from China that way. And it simply appears that I'm going to have to just fix that with my Dremel tools. Okay, I can already tell you right from the bat that it's this larger rudder is much more responsive i mean five times as good the one that comes with the brooklyn kayak unfortunately especially compared to this now uh, does not meet the standard i'm just going along at a leisurely pace here and i'm making uh you know three miles an hour here so yeah, this is a fast kayak. That is one of the it's one of the pros of this kayak. It's it's fast and light. I'll try to I'll try to stand up. So I am standing up. It, uh... Hey, I think I got one. I think I got one. Sweet. Go ahead and sit down. Okay, fish on. Ooh. And here we go. We got a catfish. So, luckily I got my catfish tool here First fish. So one thing about standing up in the kayak, it does take some getting used to. It's kind of like uh, standing up on a paddleboard. 
Um, you definitely do it. I mean, you can see the waves aren't that big, but you know, there's definitely some current out here and some wind. It's a fast boat. It's light. You can stand up in, in it. There's reasonably good storage. The seat is extremely comfortable. What really tips it over the scale is the addition of that rudder for $120 from PKC. Um, if I didn't have that, honestly, I probably wouldn't buy the boat. So I highly recommend you get that before you buy the boat or as you buy the boat and it takes about four weeks to get or at least it took four weeks to get that oversized rudder to me um, the cons i went over in some of my prior videos it's difficult to add accessories to this boat because you've got that curve on the top um, it's reasonably stable but it may not be as stable as some of the other boats that i see guys just kind of walking all over the top um, and it's not crazy fast. It is reasonably fast. It's kind of a pro con. Um, you know, it goes about just like right now. I'm just easily going and I'm going about 2.8 miles an hour. So the cons are less than the pros. All in all, it's a good boat, especially with the fact that uh, with that rudder, with the additional rudder, uh, that, that's a game changer now in this battle. So we'll see how that holds up in the salt water. But uh, definitely a good kayak. Uh, I highly recommend it. And uh, hopefully we can get some more fishing videos. And get some more